So here I have this night light globe and the problem is is the PowerPoint uh, port has been pushed in. Now normally you can just fix these just with the parts inside. So um, I've already removed the screws and you open up we can have a look at the inside. And inside here you can see we have the battery here and this is the part that broke off. It's the micro USB port and you can see that the the legs are still intact so we can actually just tack that back on. And on the circuit board the location is just right in there. And the important legs are the outer two. The two middle ones are basically uh, the digital plus and minus. But since you, we're not going to be programming, we just need to have the voltage to charge. And you can actually see right on the circuit board that the, data, the two data lines aren't connected anyways. So there's a detect we just have to solder the two error ones basically. There's um, positive and uh, negative. The positive one is on the leftmost and the negative is on the right, which also has a detect and already has a little bit of solder. So I'm just going to be putting this on. I wasn't able to find a screwdriver, but I am able to just push it in just like so. And then later I may get a little bit of epoxy to put it on the side there because usually that's why it gets pushed. So I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on each side. It's all good. Now I don't, this one, you actually need to have a little bit of flux. I'll see if I can get a little bit of flux down in there. down there It's not very good. What's going on there? Ideally, I should have taken this off and I could solder it to the board. Okay.
So I did get it in there. Let me um, plug it in, see if I can get some charge going. So I got it plugged in. So you can see it right there. I'm thinking that I may put a little bit of hot glue around there just to give it a little bit of support in the future. Sounds good, yeah. Using a hot glue gun is probably not the best idea, but it's very easy to take off. I'm just gonna put it there and that's kind of what I have. Anyways, this is a do-it-yourself kind of job just to get this thing going back. So it's like a little nightlight for my kid. The trick is just make sure that the glue is nice and hot when you apply it. Okay. You know what's nice and hot when it starts to drip? Just gonna put something on the edge, on the top, and the side here. Just so it doesn't move around. Put a little bit on the battery. Just like that. It'll give it a little bit more life to this. No. On the bottom it has a switch, let's try it. No. <gasps> Alright, it's working now. Let's close the curtain. Oh, there we go. You can see. Shining on the wall. The roof. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.